container and that really just didn't seem worthwhile. These are all empties of things that are not in any other projects at all. So all the stuff that's in projects you will see it in projects and at the end of the projects for those I will do like a big run through and I will do a massive em empties at the end of the year so you'll see all of that stuff then. So this is stuff that doesn't fit into any of those things at all. This stuff I've used up. So the first thing is the Girly Cosmetics Sensational Aromatherapy Brush Cleaner. I got two bottles of this at the, there was a beauty trade show thing a couple of years back. I still have another bottle of this. It has sweet orange oil and lavender oil in it. It smells pretty good. It doesn't really clean the brushes very well. Um, so what I tend to use this for is after I've actually washed my brushes, I spray a little bit of this on it. Um, yeah, because I really didn't find that it cleaned my brushes particularly well. I actually um, am now using velvet soap and it washes my brushes better than anything else I've ever used. So, <laughs> and it's cheap. Um, next we have um, Attraction Nail Lookout from NSI. This is the monomer that I use when I do acrylic nails. Uh, usually on my clients I've been trying some else out on myself and I've decided I really don't like it and I'll probably just use it for um, practice type stuff um, and go back to using the NSI on my own nails. Uh, I also have a container of Isocol rubbing alcohol. I use this to clean off the tacky layer of gel polishes if they have one and I need to do that. Um, I use it to um, like spray stuff down. It's also useful for disinfecting makeup products um, or sanitizing makeup products. And also if you want to repress stuff that is broken, like makeup items that are broken, this is what I use for that. I have an Australis makeup finishing spritz. There is actually some of this still left in, um, transferred it into the NYX bottle because the next bottle has a better sprayer than this one. Normally the sprayer on these is fine but on, for some reason on this particular one it's not working very well so I put it in the next one instead. There's still a bit in there but I'm counting it as done because it will be soon enough. I have this ridge filler from Orly. It's quite a decent ridge filler but it is just so um, goopy and disgusting. It is not worth keeping and I don't tend to use base coat very much these days if at all because I have acrylic nail overlays and um, or acrylic overlays and they have a hard gel top coat on them which acts like a base layer and I don't need to use base coat. Um, I finally finished this Pond's Flawless White BB Cream. I love these Pond's BB Creams so much. Um, I've used the anti-aging one and this one and they look so much better on my skin than foundation does but they are like this one is all written in Indian because it's one of the only places you can get this one anymore. Uh, I really wish you could still get them because I I loved these. These it was probably the best one of the best that I've ever actually used. Um, and I liked the way that it looked on my skin. I'm very sad that that one's done, but I'm also glad that I used it up before it went off. I have two packets of the uh, Lacura Makeup Rounds, which you see every empties. <laughs> so one of those would have been March's and the other one April's. Uh, and I finished a packet of the Real Care Cleansing Facial Wipes. Um, they were fine, they took makeup off, probably not particularly effectively, which is why I tend to use a toner afterwards, because you want it to be done properly. And finally, uh, we have the LOL Black Liquid, uh, Black Pencil Eyeliner. It is all done, um, been working on that one for a while, so that is one more pencil eyeliner out of my collection. And I have two mascaras. This one is from Dezo. It's just a black mascara, but it is, it is just really, disc I don't like it. I did not enjoy wearing it, and as a result, it was $2.80. Ooh. 
and this one is the um, Kmart mascara and it has basically dried up in the tube so that one is going as well uh, yeah so that is actually it for my empties for uh, March and April uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like empties type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!